Happy New Year everyone! This is Miranda Patron back here with you to do a video today on these lovely little white Cap Courier stones. Um, Cap Couriers is a great company. You can find them on Amazon or at capcouriers.com and they sell a lot of wonderful little stones for painting. Um, they have all sorts of shapes, sizes. They have nice little flat white little Santorini type stones with sparkle in them. I personally like these speckled ones. They're super fun. It's kind of like a granite stone. Um, but today we're going to use these smooth white stones. We're going to do a fun, easy kind of rainbow flower mandala. So I know some of you have talked about painting on natural stones and finding it difficult to find round ones um, to do mandalas on, but you know you can actually just use ones that are not round, these great little oval shapes or you know, you just make your mandala fit it or just leave negative space and they can look amazing as well. So we're going to do that today on these white painting stones. So I like these ones too because a lot of times I paint on a black background so it's fun to create a design with the white background and just kind of see how it flows and check it out. So I'm going to be using the Deco Art Paints today. The Americana line has some phenomenal bright bright colors in a great rainbow so we're going to use those today to just do a simple rainbow flower mandala. All right so I'm just going to zoom in here on my stone a little bit so you can see better. I'm going to use an angled brush most of the time and a few liner brushes but you can use your dotting tools to create this same design so if you have the stylus dotting tools with the ball on the end actually let me show you some cleaner ones so you can see but it just has a little ball on the end of them those will create the same little dots and you can make the same design so I'm going to start off in the center with white which on a white background might seem counterintuitive but it'll help us have a starting point for our mandala and if you Start off in the center with your first line ring around it symmetrical. It's a lot easier to keep the symmetry without using guidelines. Especially on a cute little mandala like this. So I'm just going to choose where I want the center of my flower to be. So we're just going to go like right here. And I'm just painting a circle, just painting a dot. You don't necessarily have to push down and make dots with this. Sometimes the brushes don't allow for that. I know a lot of people were having trouble with that too. So, And then with the same white, I'm just going to grab a liner brush and we're going to do kind of a top and bottom dot here. And then about a 45 degree angle, you're going to put a couple of dots on the opposite side from each other, just like that. Okay, so the next color I'm going to use is True Red. And with that same liner brush again, we're going to take the red and go in between each of the white that we just put down. So it's pretty simple. You just kind of follow the pattern you start off with. So in between these like this, just gently place a dot in between each of the titanium whites. And so a lot of you have asked me about color combinations. I just wanted to remind you that I have a Pinterest page now that is all palettes, color palettes, color combinations. So you can check that out and that might be helpful for you to come up with some ideas of your own on com different combinations of colors that you can put together that look really nice. And that way you see them all together as well, which if you're at all like I am, I need that image to see. I don't really see it in my mind as well. That's a good explanation. <laughs> Alright, so next up is this lovely royal fuchsia. 
And I may not be going exactly in rainbow order, but you'll see it comes out really nicely for our little flower. And above each of our whites with the liner brush, I'm just placing a dot of that royal fuchsia. And if you're concerned about your dots bleeding into one another, sometimes I just pause the video and let them dry so that they're less likely to bleed into one another. Okay, next is this beautiful, just plain coral. Alright, so I am still using the liner brush, so I just want to show you guys that you can just use the same size brush for a lot of these, especially the small detailed work. And it just takes a little bit of practice. There's no magic. It's just I overload the brush and to make sure that your brush has the right paint consistency. Your brush, your paint has the right consistency. So it needs to be a little more fluid. I like the deco art paints because they are pretty much perfect right out of the bottle most times. And that way you don't have to do any mixing. But if you have heavy bodied acrylics or you're getting them out of a little metallic tube like this, you're going to need to mix it with a flow medium. And that will thin them down enough for you to do dots. You kind of want like a yogurt batter consistency. All right, so that was our coral. Now let's pick a nice happy yellow here. Happier than sunny day. Let's do sunny day. It poured like crazy last night, so it was dreary here. I'm looking for rainbows and sunshine, right? Alright, so also I just want to show you, this liner brush, the bristles are free, it's not dipped in anything, it's just, and this is one of my older ones, but it's really just your paint consistency and then practice. So you will get the hang of it, don't give up. So I'm using Sunny Day, and we're going to do a nice bright dot of yellow over our fuchsia here. like that. And you can see how nice this looks on the white background stone, but I think I'm also going to do a video to show you on a black stone after I finish this one today. I have a little bit of extra time, so we'll see if I get it done, but the black really has a bright, bright, different contrast, which I personally like the dark contrast, but I also like this white. It's very calming and gentle. Alright, let's just grab a little bit of a darker yellow, this cadmium yellow, and we'll just do some tiny little dots around those larger yellows that we just put down. just to kind of accentuate the yellow zone here just a little bit. have had a little too much caffeination today so y'all are always like oh Marina you have such a steady hand well see even I have days where it's not so don't lose heart <clears throat> you can always hold your other hand to steady it we all have days right there's little tricks that you can do. 
And I also see some lovely ladies out there making wrist benches, like a wrist rest. So that also could help you with a steadier hand. <clears throat> I know I've seen Erin Ridley and a couple other on Etsy that are making them. See how that dark just kind of accentuates the light a little bit more. Alright, I have some nice peaches and cream here. Why don't we use a little bit of that to just put a couple of dots above our darker coral. We'll make a little platform for our green, our up and coming green dot. I'm just doing two dots above the darker coral with peaches and cream. And they're smaller, so if you're using dotting tools, these would be the ones that you're walking the dots with around. Toothpick. Tiniest, tiniest daughter. Alright, so the next I have is this Irish moss green. This one is great for leaves. It's great for a lot of different things that we paint. I use it more often than I thought I would. So above those two little peaches and cream ones, we're going to put a nice little dot of that. Nice Irish moss. I'm just using my angle spot detailer now. I like using the angled tools just because, especially with the videos, then I can see what I'm doing in front of the camera here. And you guys can see and I can see. It makes life a lot easier. But also, for your own personal use, you can see where you're placing the dot easier. So, I also bend my dotting tools. Alright, now above each of the yellows that we put down, we're going to put some of this nice bluegrass green. And again, I'm just using my angled brush. This desert turquoise has a great mix of blue and green in it. So we'll tie those in together. With just a little bit of this. And we'll go above our Irish moss green that we did with some dots of this desert turquoise. And I'm going to make these my largest ones and you're really just painting a circle get a good amount on your brush I push down fairly hard but you're just kind of letting the bristles whip around a little bit into a circle so you're not actually dotting it's just painting a circle And you can do this design on 
anything mini canvas wood glass you just have to get the proper paint and the paint consistency the multi-surface paints are really good for that and also deco art has like a wood filler type um, product where you can just paint over wood and it fills in kind of the cracks and holes and that way too it's an easier surface to paint okay so I'm going to grab a little bit of this shoreline which is a very light blue and one of my liner brushes and all the products that I use in my videos I'll post links for if I have where you can find them the turntable the brushes everything Personally, I need to paint little dots that are, when it, that section of the stone or piece is right in front of me, it makes it easier for me. So this turntable is perfect for that. Just little tricks that help you along the way. that I find help me. One of the great things too about painting on natural stones is that are an odd shape is you don't have to feel confined to a certain spot. You don't have to confine to that circle. So your mandala can kind of take an extra shape, like let it expand in certain areas. It's like an amoeba mandala. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go back and grab a little bit of that um, desert turquoise to go around the shoreline that we just put in. That's good because it's darker on the white stone. And with the brushes, or the dotting tools, you just go around and you let the paint kind of run off the tool. Your dots will get smaller in size. And with the brushes, you just have to push down harder for the larger dots. And then as you come around to the area where you want them to gradually get smaller, you just let up with pressure on the brush. But whatever tools you're using, this design is super fun and happy rainbows. How can you not like a rainbow, right? Colorful, it uses all the colors. And 
All right, let's choose a dark blue now for wrapping around the outside. Let's do this Royal Navy. I bet this shows up really nicely on this white stone. And I'm just going down to the, we're probably running out of space to squeeze it around the whole dot here, so I'm just going down to the bluegrass green ones that we made here. And I know I've said this in other videos, but those of you who are new, the brushes I like just because I work with them a little bit easier, but also you can really load it up and then make multiple dots with them as opposed to having to constantly go back and dip your dotting tool. But this is just per personal preference. I got too much on here, so I'm going to drop some off over here. It's just personal preference for what you want to use for tools. But good tools make for good projects, right? So to get the bigger dot at the top too, I'm just pushing down a little harder and it kind of pulls that petal out a little bit farther on our flower mandala here. Alrighty, so blue, then we need some good purple, right? And the purple pizzazz, I'm just kind of obsessed with this color. <laughs> Absolutely love the purple pizzazz. I use it as much as I can. So let's think here. All right, you know what? We're going to do some swipes. So don't panic. It's going to be okay. We're going to show you. <laughs> you know what, too? I can show you both with a brush and with the dotting tool, just so we'll have both in the same video. But So with the brush, I'm just going to dip it in my purple pizzazz here. I'm going to use our petal as a guideline. All I'm doing is I'm pushing down harder at the top where it's fatter. Let me get a better angle here in the camera. So push down hard, bring it around to where you want the tail to go, and then just lift up when you get to the end. And if you want to point your tail, you just got to lift up sooner. So I'm pushing down. See, lifting up sooner, sooner, later, 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 and it gets smaller at the bottom. Now with your dotting tools, it's a little bit easier, I think. And this is coming from someone who uses brushes often. Dip your dotting tool, one of the smaller tools. I would suggest practicing first to see how much paint you need and what size tool you need to see how far your swipe will go but this is about the size I need for this. So you just start up here and I'm pushing down the same pressure, but as you go around, the paint runs off your tool and you'll get your tail because you run out of paint. So this one's a little more difficult on our stone, on my stone anyway, maybe yours is a little bit bigger, but, or you're doing it on something bigger like a canvas. I'm just going to pick up my stone here, but you just, oh, I don't have enough paint here. But there you can see the paint runs off the tool, you get your tail. Mm -hmm. 
So you can use your dotting styluses to do swipes. I have faith in you. All right. So you guys know me too. I like to make things asymmetrical quite often. Just doing the opposite or different colors on different sides. So just to spice it up a little, I'm going to go with a purple petal so it's a little bit lighter. And I'm going to use the purple petal to do swipes the opposite direction. here on our stone. But you can see any brush will work. This is a different brush. This is a liner brush. It just takes practice with whatever tool you're used to using. So with a liner brush you push down hard at the beginning and lift up at the end. But like I said, the dotting tools, you don't have to do that. If you're using a stylus, you just let the paint run out off your tool. The brushes I find a little bit easier because like you saw before I had to lift up the rock. These you know are softer and a little more forgiving so you can bend them around angles more. And that's just personal preference like I said. little flower you're making your way how are you guys all doing enjoying your little rainbow we're almost done I think just to bring our white back out to the outer edge here Let's do, I don't know, a nice big white dot in between our purple swipes. There's something about white too that just kind of makes it feel, to me anyway, more delicate. Maybe it's the lacy in mine, lace type idea, but I like to bring colors that I use towards the center back out at the end. Feel like it kind of closes up the piece. All right, let's do a couple little dots around this guy too. Uh, how about just one, two, three? So also you can steal from wet dots. I don't know if you noticed that I was doing that, but you can steal from the dots that are wet. And then you don't have to go back to your palette also. But also with this you can see the spacing is a little different just because it's not a perfect circle. But it's still, I think they're lovely little stones. Well, there's our little flower. You can see too that it wraps around the stone. This one's flat. And this one's about two and a half inches. Most of these ones are about two to three inches that you can purchase from Kep Couriers. But then also after these are dry, you can put on top dots bulk it up a little if you want a more 3D look and then a little bit of varnish clear coat varnish deco art has a great triple thick varnish which is almost like resin the resin look just make sure everything's dry and it will protect your stone all right you guys I'm so excited for this new year I hope you enjoyed starting it off with this little rainbow stone with me um, 
As you know now, if you've been following me a little bit, I have my website up and going. It's MirandaPatroneArt.com. And from there, you can hit the tabs to go to the Pinterest palettes, the color combos. You can go to my Instagram. You can go to Facebook. It's a one-stop shop. You can go to Etsy shop. You can look on there what I have for art to purchase on my actual website as well. So if you are new here and you want to check out my videos, just hit the bell and subscribe. You'll get notified anytime I put out a new video. So I hope you guys have an awesome day and happy painting.